Hello, dear friends! Best greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov. I am a research entomologist, beekeeper and teacher. Entomologist, it means I'm studying insects. I'm studying parasitic wasps, small parasitic wasps, which are indicated here on this poster. They are very small from tiny size of half of millimeter up to one millimeter, which is a very big one. And other different parasitic wasps, which are widely spread all around the world and they're useful and they're used in biological control against agricultural pests. But today I would like to present you some stories which I recorded during several years about bees and about beetles. Yes, I have shown already uh, different bees and I hope so this will be interesting because I'm recording these stories in the summertime, in spring, summer, in autumn time and in winter time there are no insects outside. Yes, it's not possible to go outside and watch behavior of some interesting parasitoids on stems or on plants or on flowers or just to collect some bees outside because it's cold. Not so cold in Ukraine now, in, in Kyiv. It was maybe minus two, minus five degrees Celsius. Not very cold. A little bit snow, but it was again a rain. So terrible time because uh, the war is still continuing in Ukraine. It's ter terrible. But nevertheless, nevertheless, why not crying about it too much? So it's better to record some stories for adults and for children, who is for English-speaking community, by the way, who can understand us in 50 countries all around the world, or maybe in 100 countries. I'm not quite sure. It depends from viewers. Even some people who are not speaking English as a native language can understand English. And it's a great advantage. So, and of course, videos which were recorded in, in, in a field or in the laboratory, it's quite easy to understand, but of course, video is just very visible material. But, and I will be doing some kind of a comments and explanations what is going on on this video, what uh, some bees, what are some beetles are doing in this video. So let's start our video story today. And first of all, I, as I announced about bees, so the first bee is the most famous one. That's definitely, who is it? This is just honeybee, Apis mellifera. Apis mellifera is sitting on flower, where? Okay, okay, in the laboratory, just to record it quietly, peacefully, and just to show you big size of a bee, because when she is just outside on flower, she's very busy, very fast, very quickly doing her job. And here she's sitting, because she is a female, and she's a worker, you see on the hind legs, hind pair of legs, with shining place on legs. This is it's named scopula, very special equipment, tool for collecting pollen on flowers. And you see the front, the head between antennae, also just dusty because of pollen. So honeybee is a very famous pollinator. But not only honeybee, there are some other bees which are named as it wild bees, wild bees, and is she? They're very hairy, looks like a honeybee, but a little bit different. They look like a bumblebees, but these are not bumblebees, these are mason bees, mason bees, and this is a genus Osmia, Osmia cornuta, with two horns on head, and you see head is bigger than honeybee, and color is different, black and red. One is here on the upper side. The smaller one, this is a male. No, no, not female, but two species. This one with white fronts, with white head, this was the male. Two different species. One, this one, again, the male and upper side, female. Male has a usually longer antenna and he's searching for female for mating. Here, and also male is visible here because males, we have white hairs on fronts, on head, and females they have a bigger head. And the mason bee is also very famous pollinators. They are living in hollows, in, in hollow stems, and they are hatching, imaging in very early spring. 
when still honeybees little bit lazy little bit lazy because of cold temperature cool when it's 16 degree 17 degree honeybee is not so active flying too far away especially even on, on ephemeral spring flowers but mason bees were very busy flying around even in the springtime when it's a little bit cold 15 degree and it's very fine honeybees were usually fly around but we just can come out of beehive fly around making a poo making a pee and just flying again back to beehive for we were making cleaning cleaning flight around beehive in a very early springtime and coming back it's still not time for collecting pollen only some part of honeybees which are named foragers foragers will start to collect some early spring morning some pollen not to so many nectar but mostly the first pollen from spring flowering trees are very useful and now we continue for next video with beetles with beetles not only beetle but also bugs you see this is a bug hemiptera and this uh, we i will indicate here what families are these bees beetle bees and beetles was who is this beetle big beetle this beetle belonging to the family scavenger beetle Sylph sylphidae family sylphidae and this one is belonging to weevil and this one weevil small one plum plum weevil of a family curculi i need it the same on the upper upper angle upper right angle this is a family curculi i need a or and this one center again female you see female of beetle of a family silphide very pretty common in a springtime in some way in a may in june they're crawling around concrete uh, around on asphalt crossing asphalt roads very very often coming under the wheels of cars so they're smashed and they're dying just on road because they're searching for their food they're searching for food they're cleaners they clean all dead bodies of different insects not only insects different animals like birds or maybe some died small mammals some parrots pigeons so they're helpful for cleaning all areas and this one this is a weasel weasel you most of weasels were phytophagos so they searching here a little bit for food feeding on some flowers and on stems and this is myriad family of bugs also phytophagos bug these are not this bug is not sinking any blood only just sinking the juice of plants and under the leaf under this big carrot carrot bee scavenger bee sylphide one bee which is smaller belonging to round bee beetles which was carabide just i will find it. where is carabide beetle round beetle somewhere hiding under the plants because i'm just looking around i put them here in a petri dish just for observations so if you have seen this flattened body of these beetles of a family sylphide please do not kill them because they are really cleaners cleaners at our areas at the parks and streets because if we find something like a dead small animal like small pigeon they will bury, bury it under the soil underground in the soil there are two different carrion beetles so one some beetles making it's like a bur burial by just using the dead body of a pigeon or sparrow for their food and also for as a food for their larry so they're burying the pigeon under the ground and laying eggs 
So larvae will be developing under the ground. And this is Phytophagus otiorhynchus of a family. Curculeanidae, or just big, quite very nice. With about size of one centimeter. And if this one is size about 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters, even just with damaged middle, middle leg. One leg is damaged, someone cut the leg of this beetle. Or maybe another individual, another specimen, or maybe some birds which have found this beetle, because this beetle is, is crawling just openly in daytime, not in nighttime, in daytime. Usually in, I collected them in a, somewhere in the daytime or in the morning. So that's why some um, sparrows, maybe some birds can attack them easily. But this beetle also can make kind of a protection just using its lymph or just their blood, which is named as a lymph. And this beetle smelling not very well. So if you take it in your fingers, in your, in your palm, so you can expect just not very nice smell of this beetle. Again, here, withal, which is crawling, crawling around and just cutting a little bit some leaves for the for its food. Let's search for next beetles. Next beetles again sitting. No, this these are not beetles. These are crickets. These are nice crickets. Yes, these are nice crickets also appearing in in early May time. But they are growing slowly, or maybe you say rapidly, because they're just after one month, they're becoming just full-sized crickets. So of the order Orthoptera, Orthoptera. They're jumping, they're a very nice object for observations for kids. So I put them here all together for careful protection in the Petri dish and for recording video because they are jumping very easily and of course if I open petri dish they will escape in a couple seconds and you see in the middle size in the middle place there is one small specimen one small individual which is a larva of the cricket which is smaller and growing slowly this belonging to hemimetabola with not full metamorphosis so larva is with similar size, similar shape and structure. Again, small larva. He, here we see two small larvae and big size already adults, grown adults. Larvae are growing, just molting, and they look like the same species, but only in a small size. Because grasshoppers and crickets, they are growing slowly and they have similar shape as larvae and adults. Or a little bit different to be sh to be correct. It depends from species. In some species, of course, larva of a first stage is very, very unique, very special, different from the old stage because growing and but still not making such metamorphosis like beetles or like butterflies or just moths. Because here different way of life cycle and development. So. Hemimetabola. Yeah, you see. Again, in the center, greener color. This is a small larva and big size, four different, five, five big adults of these not grasshoppers, but crickets. Yes, well, they are phytophagous or some species are predaceous. So that's why be careful if you can put some different species all together. In some cases, predaceous grasshopper will eat all very small phytophagous crickets. Or even one with the same species can show just cannibalism. Cannibalism. In some cases, some grasshoppers and crickets were predaceous, so they will eat smaller larvae, or they can eat just. Another very more weaker specimen. 
But this species, I guess, Phytophagus. And here probably male, and this is in the center, this is a male with red top of the abdomen. Okay, so now very nice summertime crickets. And let's go to the next video. In the next video you can see these are different beetles in the same cage. I explained it, this is like a zoo, zoo of different beetles. Here are more, many beetles of different families and I will briefly say the name of the, these families. On the top we see the elongated body of clicking beetles of the family Ellaterite, click beetles. One big beetle is coming of a horn beetle of the family Cerambicide, horn beetle. Cerambicide just escaped. Who is that here? Smaller individuals here, yellow beetles on the top sitting. These are small Asian ladybugs of the family Coccinellide. Ladybugs again appearing, just horn, long horn beetle of the family Cerambicide in the left angle, in the left down angle. Again, here, low, elongated bodies of the clicking beetles. And also, you see on the left side of the screen, or just with jumping, 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 beetle. This is a beetle of family Carabide, or round beetle, round beetle. And again, nearby, this is a longhorn beetle, the biggest one, the biggest one. And here, some smaller individuals, smaller beetles, just crawling here in the left angle. Flower beetle with a family. Mordelide, Mordelide, very special name, Mordelide. Quite easy to collect them and find on flowers in the summertime. Who I, what families are here? On the right side, on the right side of the screen, just crawling nearly near the top, the beetle of a family, car carpet beetle of a family, Dermestide, feeding on skin and different products. Uh, different dead animals in the wild. And who is here? Who is here? Okay, in the central part there are two individuals, three individuals of a small beetle. Smallest, smallest beetle belonging to the family Tenebrionide. Coming over here, just crawling in the, in the center. The smallest beetles of the family Tenebrionide. Darkling beetles. Darkling beetles. So this is a zoo. The most Dangerous here are ground beetles. Why? Because they are predacious. Because they are predacious, so be careful if you are keeping beetles all together. It needs to keep them for a short time. Otherwise, predacious beetles, like carabita beetles or ground beetles, will be feeding on phytophagous beetles, like all others phytophagous, even lonely horn beetle, also is phytophagous on feeding on flowers or cannot, or some small Curculeanida beetles also feeding on flowers. Or even Elateridae were just also not fine, not predaceous, were also eating some nectar on flowers. Again, who is he? In the central part, small, near the down, this, this were darkling beetles, the big one, big elongated beetle, beetles. These are Elateridae clicking beetles. Here, this on the right side appeared several round beetles, carabidae. And here, on the right, here, one small individual of a bruchide beetle, bruchide, which are belonging to Curculanide as well now, as a bruchine. This way, this is in the center, bruchine, megabruchideus, genus megabruchideus. On the right side, one is big one. On the right side appeared one quite big mm, mealworm beetle of a fam or dark little beetle, beetle of the same family, Tenebrionide. Here on the left side, big, bigger magnification you see here with like with little bit elongated abdomen, elongated body. This is a Mordelide, Mordelide.
more than in a family. Okay, probably all I counted all families here. Here, one from the left. This is a round beetle, carabide, and the left or right side. This is with elongated body, elongated abdomen, mordelide, which are usually feeding on pollen on flowers. And where phytophagous larvae living in the stems of different plants. And one small larva of coccinellide family. Larva on the right side, coccinellide. The biggest beetle of a longhorn beetle, longhorn beetle is crawling, trying to escape trying to turn from the back on the other side. The biggest one, this is a longhorn beetle. Cerambicide. Here, right on the right side, this was Tenebrionide, yellow and black. Coccinellide, yellow color. Ladybug, Asian ladybug on the right side. And Mordelide on the left side. Mordelide with elongated abdomen. Okay. Probably all of them we have found. And who is here? Here the next piece of zoo. Who is living in this zoo? In this zoo we also find some beetles. Some beetles. They are crawling around petals and around flowers. What time it was? I guess somewhere in August. Somewhere in August. Not already in springtime. Oh no, no, no. Probably in June because Pinky, pinky petals were just rosy pinky petals, right, right. Somewhere in the beginning of June, in the beginning of June. In the middle we can see very big, or rather big sized mealworm beetle, mealworm beetle of a family, Tenebrionide, or mealworm, and this is the same, Taban Tenebrionide. And here one is beetle of a yellow color coming, brown color, which is named as a soldier beetle of family Cantaride, Cantaride. Just very aggressive, predaceous beetle, Cantaride. Very aggressive. Can, can attack all other small beetles, even the beetles of the same family. This is a Cantaride beetle, or soldier beetle, because very, very aggressive. Oh, who is here? Who is here? All others were just hiding a little bit down. Here again, this is darkling beetle. And on the right side, one small car carpet beetle, I guess. The smallest here in the center, smallest, this is a carpet beetle of a family Dermistide. Dermistide. Who is here? On the right side, you see very tiny, very tiny longhorn beetle. On the right side with lone antenna, maybe you can see him. We are just hiding here. With this lone antenna, this is lone horn beetle, lone horn beetle, just feeding on, on petal and hiding. All insects just using plants and just petals here, just for protection, uh, like a refuge to be hidden a little bit. These are oh two specimens. Two specimens of a Cantaride family, or soldier beetles. Okay, I guess. Here in the center, in the center, big um, black beetle belonging to the family of weevils, or Curculianide beetle, Curculian, Phytophagus beetle. Phytophagus beetle, which is very, very weak in comparison with soldier beetle. Or Cantaride. And who are the smallest? The smallest two on the right side, probably the same Cantaride family, but very small specimens, very small species, different one. In the center, rounded beetle, this is a Bruchide, or belonging to Curcolanide now, Mechobruchideus, hatched from lo locust honey, honey locust bee. Be, uh, seeds or Glidice, Mehobrochidius, and very big Tenebrio, Tenebrio beetle, or darkling beetle of the family, Tenebrionide. Tenebrionide. Yes, yes, and here in the center, this is carpet beetle, carpet beetle, black colored carpet beetle, 
Och för fem är det dermis till det. Which is feeding little partially can be predaceous, can feed on dead bodies of insects, or also on some food products, on just liver, on different food materials as well. Can be dangerous, especially in storage of different food materials, and dangerous even in collections. On the left side we see Phytophagus curculanide family of Phytophagus weevil, which is just showing feeding on the petal of rosa. So on the left side, uh, this here in the center, carpet beetle, carpet beetle, Dermistidae family. So these are different beetles we watched today. So I hope it was fun for you to recognize different families of beetles and different families of bees. So you can see so high biodiversity which can be found easily even during one day around your house, around your apartment, in a park, which are easy for observations. If you put them just in a bag, bag or just in a petri dish, in a plastic bag. But better after such kind of uh, observations, little bit maybe for after recording on your telephone, it will be better to release them. Here small specimens of another species of a soldier beetle, I guess these are Cantaridae family as well. Cantaridae or soldier beetles, they are so different. Smaller species, this is one species, I'm not quite sure, and this big one, this is a different one. But, fam but family is the same. Cantaridae, it's flying away very quickly. So thank you for your attention. I hope it was funny and interesting for you to see these summer bugs and beetles, which are very common in, when in urban areas, in urban environment, in a park, in a, in a forest. And now in a, this difficult situation in Ukraine, even in the springtime, it's not a very good idea to go to the forest for collecting insects, only easier to collect some insects in a urban park, in a city park. Because situation is really crazy. Here again, black color, this is a Tenibryonide, and another one is, this is a Dermistide beetle, a carpet beetle. And the, on the left side, here Tenebrio, the biggest one is a ten Tenebrio, mealworm beetle. Hello, Bucky, Lucky Bucky. Lucky, lucky bet, lucky pet. Thank you for attention. This was a story about beetles and about bees. I hope it was interesting and funny for you to watch these different beetles, which are just quite funny, especially in the winter time. And if you want to support our channel, it's okay for even for one dollar. You can use Patreon page or just use join button under this video or just to use my paypal which is indicated in description of video but on youtube channel you can be as a research assistant or you if you visit to a patreon page you can be as a research assistant and also you can support as a different scientist who has studied zoological objects entomological objects so you can see the description of different our projects on Patreon page. So your participation is really welcome. If you have interesting ideas, which, which insects are interesting for you and which insects can be recorded in the summertime or in the springtime, which is coming very soon after two weeks. By the way, spring is coming to Ukraine and the world. And I hope so. We will have opportunity to record some interesting videos in natural conditions in a field or in the closest city park why not so summertime is coming so today was a rather cloudy day but before it was a sunny day so we're looking forward to see sunny days of spring as soon as possible warmer days coming so every day is just coming 
closer to the spring and hot summer. So hopefully, and, uh, and we believe that every day is pushing us to the victory of Ukraine. And Ukraine is forever. Don't forget about it. Ukraine is forever. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget about Patreon page, about donation. This is a very nice feedback. I am very appreciative. I have two members as a research assistants. They were coming, they pushed the bottom join. And we are now to my research assistants of my channel. Thank you very much for them. I really appreciate you. This is for two cup of coffee for me and my son. Thank you very much for your attention. See you soon on my channel. Write your questions, ask your questions and write your comments. Which insects do you like? Which insects do you hate? And why you do like insects or why do you hate insects? If you need some you know, advice, write your questions under this video. If you have Gmail for sure, because if you are on Gmail, it's you are allowed it to be to write comments under this video on YouTube. Thank you for coming. Good luck. Oh yes. If you have email, if you still have email, and you can use it. You can ask your questions in a private message on my email. So you can send your email on this my private email. So thank you for your attention. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye bye. Good luck for good people. Good luck for entomologists, positive people. Good luck. Bye bye.